Let's see how to solve a nice problem. To find the sum of squares, a naive way would be move one turn to the right side and then square both sides. But it would be time consuming. Here, so we have a better way using substitution. Let this part equals x. So we get let x equals this part. So square root of 2 minus b squared. Similarly, this part as y. So y equals square root of 2 minus a squared. Then we square both sides. So we get x squared equals 2 minus b squared. Similarly, y squared equals 2 minus a squared. We denote that as 1, that as 2. We add them together, so the left side becomes x squared plus y squared. The right side becomes 4 minus a squared minus b squared, right? Now move these two terms to the left side. So we get a squared plus x squared and then b squared plus y squared equals 4. We denote that as 3. We try to create a perfect square. So we need a term 2ax and 2by. But look at the given condition. It is actually ax plus by equals 2, right? Let's write it down. So ax plus by equals 2. Then both sides multiply by 2. You get 2ax plus 2by equals 4. We denote it as condition 4. Now 3 minus 4. So 3 minus 4. Let's look at the left side. So it will be a squared. Yeah. a squared minus 2ax. And then we have another term plus x squared. Similarly, b squared. Yeah. b squared minus 2by. And then we have y squared. The right side 4 minus 4, 0. So you see. The first returns combine to a perfect square, a minus x square. The last returns another perfect square, b minus y square equals zero. Since we only can still real numbers, so the only possibility would be a minus x equals zero, b minus y equals zero. So we get x equals a and y equals b. Now we plug in to 1. Okay. So say x squared now becomes a squared. So equals 2 minus b squared. Both sides add b squared. So we get a squared plus b squared equals 2. That is the final answer. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.